How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Okay. You're well. Family's well. Everyone's well. How's uh, everything at your end? Oh, very good. Can't complain. Everybody's healthy, and that's important. So yeah. I so agree with you. So, anyways, uh, always a pleasure talking to you. So, how's it going? How have the last three months been for you? Um, uh, fruitful. It's been nice to get time with the family. It's been nice to have everybody together under the same roof. So it's been nice in the last. Um, I would say two to three weeks, uh, stumbling back to work. I've been um, doing dubbing for the English version of Breathe, so um, I can't complain. I really can't complain. And many congratulations—a milestone, uh, two decades, uh, twenty yes, years of UG. And I remember I was a reporter who had covered the press conference in Delhi. I remember your mom there, and everyone very excited. Abhishek making her debut, and she in a straight face had said. it's going to be tough he has to work hard and i was like why would you say that she says yes because it's going to be tough it's been tough but memorable as well what how would you look back at these two decades oh very fondly i look back very fondly with a lot of gratitude um it's very rare that you are blessed enough to get the opportunity to be an actor for just one film let alone almost 66 of them uh over 20 years so i feel very very blessed i feel very lucky and very thankful to the audience that has given me the opportunity and the chance and thought to be worthy of um, you know being part of these films and just it's amazing man i mean it's 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 nice once in a while i've always said to to look back and reflect and and it's there's nothing wrong in giving yourself a slight pat on the back saying 20 years is not bad You have a long way to go, a uh, lot more to do, a lot more to achieve. But so far, so good. And what I would say, twenty years standing strong despite the ups and the downs, it takes a lot. Oh, well, as see, it it doesn't actually. As long as you're focused on what you need to do and what your priority is, your priority has to be to put out the best work that you can, and give it your best and work really hard. As long as you're doing that, ups and downs as part of life. And twenty years later, you make your debut now in the digital space. I can call Breathe your official debut. Yes. And you play a Avinash, who is a doctor, father, parent, and on the surface, everything's perfect. But he is that is also in a very dark space. What were your reasons to say yes to playing this character, and was it challenging? It was immensely challenging. It was immensely challenging because it was so detailed and so complex. Um, which is all that you expect from a genre like um like like breathe into the shadows um what made me say yes was just the material i thought it was wonderfully written it was gripping there were so many twists and turns it was a edge of your seat thriller um i just loved every aspect of it and like i said the writing is just sensational I and mean, the writing is sensational it's very difficult to say no to something like that and do you think also with the coming of the ott space uh, how we consume our- content has also changing we are seeing a change but as an actor how, what's your take on it you know i i don't necessarily agree with that i don't see a change in what they're consuming i think as as far as these ott platforms are concerned there's always a there was always different kind of content that was being consumed here as opposed to television and as opposed to cinema i think uh, we cater to very different requirements um ott as a streaming platforms in general i think are a lot more intimate a viewing experience as compared to say cinema cinema you go in a group usually yeah with the whole family or with a group of friends or whatever and this is very one to one keeping that in mind i think there you can shed a lot more of your inhibitions and i think you can push the envelope a lot more on this platform in terms of narrative and storytelling that's why if you see the kind of work that is largely being consumed is very different to what is being consumed on television and very different to what is being consumed on um in cinema yeah. um keeping that in mind i thought that breathe really fit perfectly into that you know it's wonderfully nuanced it's wonderfully detailed and the 12 episodes of it so it's it's perfectly primed for this platform and each episode is like a mini film in itself oh yeah, practically yes i mean uh, like i say you know um I I've, I've literally made four films keeping an average of 2 to 3 hours per film you've actually made about four films 
And since you play a father and a husband in this, somebody's asked me to ask you, Abhishek, as a father and a husband, what's the rating you would give yourself on a scale of 10? I think we'd always give ourselves a good rating. I think you should ask the, the wife and the daughter what, what, how they would rate me. I think that will be far more accurate. I'm going to think I'm good, <laughs> but it's, it's what they think that's going to matter. I'm sure they've also given you a 10 out of 10. And also, I you know, so. initially, television, and there used to be this demarcation between TV and films. Uh, your father was one of the first actors to embrace the television space. But that, do you think that demarcation is now kind of blurring because everybody wants to be on TV and also the lines are blurring. It, like uh, actors do not make that demarcation anymore. Thank God they shouldn't. <laughs> An actor is an actor is an actor, whether you act on stage or on cinema or on television or in the web world. As long as actors get that through their heads, I think we'll be far better off. And you also have a film release coming. So theater release, theatrical release versus a digital release. What's your take on the same? I have no take on it. Um, <laughs> like I said, I don't know if we'd be having this conversation if we weren't in the midst of this pandemic. Yeah. Um, so what that goes to teach you is that your circumstances dictate how your life should be. Um, obviously, right now, um, movie theaters are shut. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't complain. I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, if I can get my work out to the audience without compromising their safety, then we're good. So um, I'm just happy that my audiences get to see my work and get to see the films that I'm making. So I'm not complaining at all. And also, as we are talking, it's eight years of Bold Bachchan today as well. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How time flies. <laughs> so true. And uh, you are coming together with the same team. So what was that like? What was the making of Bold Bachchan like? No, no. I'm saying like Big Bold, bold, uh, bold Bachchan. It's Ajay and well, you come bold, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ajay is, is family for me. Um, I, I practically started my career with Ajay in the movie Major Saab where I was a production boy and he was the lead actor and I and he's a dear dear friend I've known him all my life he's also my neighbor <laughs> so um, uh, we've had wonderful conversations from my balconies <laughs> during the lockdown uh, so it's 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 wonderful I mean uh, like I said I've, I've never questioned Ajay about anything that he's requested me to do and he's very kindly um, you know offered me so much work and such wonderful work. And, and The Big Bull is a very exciting film for me. It's a, it's a film which I really enjoyed being a part of. And I'm just so happy that Ajay is producing the film. And I hope um, I can live up to his expectations of the film. And also, uh, I mean, two decades in the industry, we've seen a lot of changes in the medium, consume the wave. What has been your observation in these two decades? What's the one change that you're really happy about? And the one change you would want to see? I like the diversity in subject matter. Um, I think, I mean, although I have to admit, by the time I came in, there was a variety of different genres of film being made as it is, but I think we're really expanding on that. I think uh, with the advent of the multiplex coming in, I think there were a lot many other subjects that we traditionally would not have thought of making in cinema that we're making now. And now with the advent of uh, streaming platforms, I think you can push that envelope even more. So there's very interesting content being put out there, which is very nice. Um, so that's the biggest change I've seen. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy for that because I mean, what a great time to be an actor, right? And the one change you would want to see, something that you want to change. About the film industry, I think we, we still can be even more professional. Um, I think we can we can really improve upon that as well. True that. And also since with the COVID, like I know there is, uh, there are going to be restrictions in how we shoot. Do you think that's going to yeah. impact the narrative? Those big magnum opuses and it's going to be a while till we start filming those kind yeah, of stories? Yes, that's, that's, that's more due to a, a logistic challenge than anything else. Uh, until we don't have clarity of what our standard uh, operating procedures are and how to make a film, Obviously, it's going to be very difficult to make a film in which, uh, you know, you have thousands of junior artists and big sets and stuff like that. Um, but there's still no clarity as to what the rules and regulations are right now. So as and when the lockdown opens, I think that's step number one. Step number two is for the government to give us and um, the, the, you know, the bodies that run the film industry to give us 
um, the do's and don'ts and how to go about doing what we have to do. And uh, then you work at that. But yes, I do see, I mean, just at face value right now, it's going to be difficult to, to maybe make films the way we normally used to. But that's just for now until we know, get some more clarity. And do you also, as an actor, as somebody, a creative person, feel that the narratives are going to change post-COVID? No, not at all. Not at all. I think once the vaccine comes out, it's going to be back to normal. And that's what we want. And also, you are yes. an avid sports person who yes. has his own you know, team. What's your take on spectator-less sport? I mean, since you love football and we see you at those Kabaddi matches. What's I don't your... like it. I don't like it. Um, yeah, might as well just go out and say that instead of being diplomatic. No, I don't like it. Uh, as a fan, I don't like it. Um, the finals of the ISL, the past season, my team, Chennai NFC, reached the finals against ATK. Um, and we played the finals in Goa behind closed doors. There were literally 30 people in the stands, 15 from the Chennai NFC management and ownership and 15 from the ATK uh, management and ownership. And it's very weird. It's not the way you're used to consuming and, and, and viewing sport. Um, what's really nice is as a television product is good because at least it continues. But obviously you want the fans to be there. The atmosphere is different and that's part of the fun of sport. So, uh, yeah, I don't like it and I hope things can change and we can get back to normal very, very soon. True. And uh, coming back to breathe as well, will we see this? We'll see you in a lot more digital uh, to explore that space, maybe produce something or? Why not? Why not? I think it's a very exciting medium. I think there's very exciting talent and work that is happening over here. And it's, it's, it is, um, it's, it's vibrant right now. And I really enjoyed my experience working on breathe into the shadows. So I have absolutely no objection. And also, you know, there's something I've always wanted to ask you is like, as I narrated, gave your mom's example, it's been tough. I'm sure you also faced uncertainties. What is that one advice that you have always followed when you've dealt with the highs and the lows? And what would you want to tell maybe young actors who are going through the same? Believe in yourself. Believe in your hard work. You can only believe in your hard work if you're going to be working hard. Um, hold on to your dream and do everything possible to make that dream a reality. Never give up. And what's been your most memorable moment that you cherish? Since it's 20 years, I have to ask you that question. Any memorable memory? I mean- There have been so many. I mean, 20 years, innumerable mind. memories. I mean, obviously the first one that comes to mind is your first day working on set uh, was in Bhuj for refugee with JP Saab. Uh, that's a memory which you're never gonna forget. Your first day at work. It's uh, literally at that point in time, although I was what? 23, um, it was 23 years of a dream come true. And that, that's something you never forget. Never, ever forget. And can so, I yeah. say that in these 20 years, you covered all your films. I've basically covered all of them. Yes. Um, you know, like I said earlier, Pooja, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be an actor. You have to be consider yourself very lucky. Yes, we all work hard. We all think we're all deserving, but it's also a blessing. The audience very seldom decides to, to love you. Um, there are many more actors who are unemployed today than are employed. That goes to show that they are very selective about who they choose to love. And that's a blessing. And you have to live up to that and make yourself worthy and prove yourself worthy day in and day out. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, all of it is a wonderful memory. All of it is something I'm so thankful for. And all of it is something I'm very cognizant of. So, you know, it's something you know you cannot take for granted. So, you know, on the 30th of June, I celebrated in the best way possible. I went to work because that's what it's all about. Tomorrow is a new day and you got to get up there and fight for your place under the sun. It's true. And I mean, last question, since I need to wrap up. Will we see you and your wife together? We keep hearing these stories, collaborating. I'd, we'd love to, we'd love to. Uh, we'd love to obviously work together, but it can't just be a proposal that comes. It has to be something that creatively uh, both of us would want to do as artists. So we wait for that. I mean, we're looking, we look forward to it. We love working together. Um, she's the one artist I've done my maximum work with. And uh, I'd love to, love to make a film with her. And lastly, um, your father doesn't give many interviews because he says there is really nothing for me to say. How is he doing? And what He's is it very like well, thank you. quarantining with a family that everybody's ideal lockdown partners? It's been fun. 
it's great fun uh, like i said i mean we rarely get time to spend with each other and it's been so nice that we've had the last 3 to 4 months of being under the same roof and like i said uh, thankfully everybody's healthy so that's that's wonderful um for the entire entire lockdown uh, my mother was sadly uh, in delhi because she was there in parliament and they got stuck down there because of the lockdown and as soon as they started relaxing things we we got her down uh she came down on a flight and um it's nice to have her with us now so it's wonderful to have the family on the same roof uh spending time with each other which is something we very rarely get to do sure. even though we live under the same roof i know busy lives and anyways thank you so much always a pleasure speaking to you thank you and here to care. another 20 30 40 oh thank you cheers thank, thank you, you so thank much. you take thank care you. all the best stay safe you too thank bye. you bye bye bye